be able to trade though. Zest just steps through the teleporter, although yeah, it doesn't really kind of work out. I think he did throw out a bit of utility, but with the shots going through, Talon just easily dismisses him. Yeah, it was, a, it was a contest by both teams for showers, and Zest tried to, I think he threw the dizzy through the teleporter, try to get ahead of it, but the lead was, or excuse me, Talon was already falling back, so Rettler's gonna have to go pretty huge with his classic. Heard them, unfortunately whiffs the first few shots, Cruz with the frenzy will be able to make quick work of him. Back on to Ye. Able to find the first one. Paint shells refreshed. Not quite in the prime spot to pull out utility though, so falls over to Jit Boys. Now down to the one on two. Darian climbing up the hill off of B Long. Has to think about where they could be positioned. You always want to check these corners. They could be inside tube. Of course, anticipating hookah or elbow as well. Such a nasty crossfire that Talon has set up. So yeah. difficult to deal with here. And they're it's not going to show anything either. Yep. Well, they have to wait for the tap, right? Trevor. Goes in for the fault line just for a bit of security. Running out of time. Talon playing everything to their advantage. Just Good spray playing, huh? from Cruz at the end with the friends. Being very wise to make sure that there is not going to be anything like that again. Not seeing too much, though. All right, sir. Able to get the information. I think he spotted enough players to for the call for Talon right there. to head on over onto B. They have to be very careful about Rella inside of Uka, though, especially with the camera as well. So Sky will be uh, sent out along with the guiding light. Doesn't quite catch all too much, sir. Spots out the whole lot of them. Able to take down the first hit. Easy trade for Ye. Now it's just a bit of that retake. And all no. you give up there is the yeah, ghost. So exactly. that's really not a big deal here for Talon at all. It might just be like one of these rounds where we die to the spike. Talon rightfully pushing all the way down halls. You've got that high tie just to block off Hookah. Governor able to spot out so many of them. If he has to, he can always go through the teleporter. A little bit too greedy for my taste. Darren will be able to take him down. Bulldog up corner over on to bleed. Ban will be able to cut them down at their torso. Retla. Yeah, why not? Let's just make use of the gun that they gave us. <laughs> I mean, you can consider. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but. Uh, yeah, just, just go down. There's, yeah, might as well go for the upgrade on the right. Finished. All right. Ban will start things off. Couple coming in, scary with the trade. Now the rest of Talon, you know, they haven't spotted out all too many players around Fountain, so it has to be an eight hit. Retla is prepared, Governor with a bit of flight path over onto a cubby of boxes. Spike planted, just playing it safe for now. I mean, I really kind of like Surf being on this, this sort of this Viper lurk stuff. Yeah, he's doing great with it. I mean, Surf is a phenomenal player. No doubt in my mind that I, he's always been one of my favorites to watch from the APAC region back in the day. So exciting to see him on the stage. Ooh, Retla trying to catch the jiggle out of the cove, not able to do so. Bleed was never able to pick up that Vandal on the other side of the map either. So they're just looking to probably die to the spike is what it looks like. I mean, this has been such a chess match here. Retla has got to be so Ooh. careful. Oh, he gets Governor. He's dropping down. All right. Still a good little pickup nonetheless. Goes towards his alt counter. The rest of them, though, will have to die to the spike. Talon. Well, to really make sure that front end of B is open. All right, Governor. There is that alt or picked up. So, Lee, definitely aware of this. You've got players kind of transitioning over. But take a look at what's happening on the other side of the map again. I talked about this, it's gonna be Surf. If he can lurk, if he can catch at least one, that would be a huge thing for Talent, but wow, scary. Kicks off his head instead. Now Zest initiating a fight of his own. Darren here into support. Wingman just to push them back as well. The spike carrier dropped and Talent has to step on the brakes. They've lost way too much in this little skirmish. Yeah, nice hold there. Zest gets caught by the Dizzy and still able to find one and get out. That's impressive. That is no easy feat. As Governor and Ban like to try to take as much away from Bleed as you can here. Left. You don't want to give them that flawless because their economy very, very weak. So if you could do some extra damage, get those alt orbs online. Even if you die, it's totally fine. Yeah, keep that economy weak. Keep that river dry. 
make them go into the next round with you know, specters, bulldogs, or anything worse. Still though, making a bit of noise running in. Darren's just completely prepared for it. Yay as well inside a shop. He's crazy. Oh wow. my god. Hits up tool, just snapped onto his hip perfectly. <laughs> Showstopper for Governor might be able to deal with Ye for the time being, but Scary still available for the trade. Not to mention, Darion is here Fight as well to receive. He's caught towards the front and the back, but he flips over at the right time. Ben able to take him down. We're back to a two on two. Spike still down. The rest of the bleed players in and available, but we've got some lineups coming in from Talon. I don't know how long that can uh, hold things off for, though. Retla taps the spike. Mosh pit has been sent over. Flushed out of position, but Retla still takes on the duel against Ban. Low HP, couldn't stay alive. Cruz has to go in for the fights now. Scary making use of the Sky Smoke to keep himself shaken as well. The rest of the squad headed towards Hookah. Retla still to on the B site with his spy camera, though, so he might be able to get a snuff of this. Oh, but with a Viper's Pit now, everything has just been bought over. The attention coming in from Surf. And then the teleport, it was all a ruse, Bleed. What you gonna do now? Talent's just working this map so, so nicely right now. Just selling that fake. And not much that Bleed can really do about this. I mean, it's gonna take some just absolutely masterful play, but with the economy the way it is, it really should be a save that you're considering. I mean, okay, Rentley gets one, he goes down. It's scary, oh. starts to push. Still doable. Timer working against them though, just for a little bit. But they're still trying to go in for that fight. I don't Thrash. know about this. Corner, elbow, shoulder exposed. Easy shot for Governor. Scary down to nine HP. That alt was uh, wasted. This, as as much as we were crediting Bleed for their well thought out play on Lotus, their map pick a bind. It is looking like a different story. I think that should have been a save. In my mind, that was like, you know, GTA when you die and the wasted that sound play. <laughs> 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 but you're absolutely right, Paper Thin. I mean, it just reminds me of uh, you know, what Jesco used to say back on the VCT desk when she was an analyst, uh, talking about how if you are going to be a great team, you have to beat your opponents on their map. Tough, tough spot for them to be in. Scary, speaking of tough spots, and a very Ooh. difficult one. Ye tries to TP, he's gonna win Wow. That. Good shot from Ye. Oh no. Still though, Sight has been captured, and then the teleporter play coming in from Talon. Scary, as well as Ye, they have to catch up to this, and they also have to try to work together on it. Ye doesn't have that much left. I mean, Scary could just try to Spike planted. use him as a bit of a human shield, a bit of a bait, but now that Spike's down, okay, actually just working off of positions instead. He catches Cruz off timing. One enemy remaining. Wow. Unreal. Reading them. He knew that there would be a bit of a lurk. Yeah. Ye knew that, you know, they were trying to take position around showers as well and just out timed the talent players. Jit Boys has his work cut out for him. Able to catch down Scary on the first. And still incredible. The highest ACS lead is just out. Timer running out on that fuse. It's okay. Maximum effect. Even spots out the initial tripwire from Retla as well, so that gave him his flight path. Lead now in for the big retake. And we've got every position covered. High tide blocks off market. Got the positions being helped. Oh, spotted governor through with high tide. Zest takes him down. Now Darren pushing along with him. The shorty will not be able to connect. It's only a good bit of damage. Back to a 2 on 3 as they try to hold down Shower Surf. Doing what he can. Cruz able to take down Zest, but then traded it off by Darren again. It's going to be down to the Viper's Pit, and he tries to spray down Wingman, but that just opens his position out. Yeah. Bleed God, in for the flashes. Kind of have to rely on using some up close and personal utility to try to get advantages, and we've seen that with Zest, a little bit of success, but mostly it's been a very difficult position uh, for them to control. He's got the Gecko with the Dizzy, though, in place of the Sky, trying to make use of it. But at the very least, I mean, Talon just getting a lot of information off of it. Now, Governor getting peeked out. He's going to have to try to back off. The rest of the team knows that they are trying to push up towards A, though. So Bleed going to have to readjust to this. The high tide comes out, and Talon's pretty much looking for the spike plant. Surf watching the back corners as well. Governor still up around hookup, being a bit of a menace. Spike planted. Cruz able to gun down Ye. 
Oh, oh, there's that lurk. Now, going to push up from the back. The rest of the bleed squad gonna have to go up the front as quick as they can. They do have quite a bit of utility to get a bit more space. Zest still with a wingman available. As long as they can get a little bit more, there it is. Spike defuse should be underway. The rest of talent are gonna have to fight for this now. A big encounter. Cruz trying to stay on top of things, but Scary sticking it through. Her. Halfway now. Viper's pit, I mean, oh! no, excuse me, toxic screen. It goes through, but unfortunately, not. But at least for now, just playing out that time and getting a feel for things. Again, this is what Bleed does. You've got that lurk on Rentla towards A. Love the protocol from Governor there to respond oh. to that fault line with his paint shells. Perfectly placed. Ye's going to go crazy. Oh. Does pick up the first hit. Toss some paint shells. Here's a player rushing forward. Sometimes the surf uh, just runs into his open uh, opponent's crosshairs. But at the same time, you've got the oh. trades coming through. Cruz coming in to support the team. Retla. One. Surviving. One. But nonetheless, Bleed has beaten out Talon in that encounter. They have numbers advantage. And now sticking the spike plant along with Wingman, Jitboy's not quite able to center his crosshair. It's all down to Cruz. And that starts off, mind you, because of Ye playing it safe and patient. And Ye with 13 HP when he got those two kills. Absolutely ridiculous. Just the, the little things. Oh, man. You've got the wingman cruise. My buddy's defusing. You should try. Made out, made out some, he thinks that someone is inside a lamp, but they're not there at all. Wingman. It's shot down now. He's running out of time. Has to go in, but pretty soon it's going to be a big old peak against him. Way too many players to deal with. Flung that at me. <laughs> Doesn't Flash. matter. Lee goes in for the execute. Shit, boys, though, with a double classic. Not too bad. Good bit of damage against Bleed. Just a bit of an execute. A raw one. And although they did manage to get the spike down, it is still talent Jit Boys and able to do a bit more damage. They've picked up the Bulldog now, Bloody down to low HP, but if they can rob some more of these weapons away, that would be not too bad of an exchange. Oh, they're making use of that bench though. Last player standing. Angle favors bleed for now. Jit Boy still able to snap onto Ye. Tries to go back in. He knows that they're stacked up on top of each other. A little bit too blind fire, so it's easy for Retla just to cut him down. Ties up the score for Bleed. Altorb, he's now one away. Even though it is a mixed bag. Uh, Talon, on the other hand, though, just trying to adjust around this. I, I, I'm i a little bit curious about the off angle that Surf is playing. He does have destroyed. support from his teammates. The angles are... Ah, uh, an attempt. Governor takes out the one player. Now they're going in for it along with the wingman. Surf still alive. But it's going to be Cruz who comes up huge with a quick double. Zest able to trade him out, picks oh my up God. the rifle. Surf still undetected. Fires off a bit of a blind shot and then goes back in to tap. Teammates cut the showstopper. Get that info. Get a good Ooh. placement on it. Oh, here we go. Wow. Governor's going in for it. That's the first piece, the first tick. And then Ye comes back in for the attack. Thrash being sent out to get a little bit more space. Governor very aware, but he spotted out Scary. Able to swing out wide. Knocks out Scary's head with the left hook, and it's going to be now Ye spotting him, while Governor has his option to route back towards a short. The rest of Bleed stuck inside of lamps and just trying to hold off some of these angles. Wingman goes back in into showers. Oh, but the timing on the peak. Ye still able to hold down his angle. Now back in to support the rest of the team. Talon has to push up together. Timing has to work out in tandem. Oh, it's gonna be the Homer Cove. Along with a bit of a dizzy toss from Cruz. Bit of a block coming in. Anticipate some of these now. They're playing that slow game. Darian holds the angle, catches the first player. Shit Boys comes back in to do the same thing. There we go. That's. That's right Pacific here. Valorant right there. <laughs> <laughs> Getting aggressive and playing off angles where your opponents might not expect it. My goodness. Uh, so good. If anyone's Love watching that. for the first time, that's that's what we do. That's what we do here. <laughs> we are. Although I will say, Lotus looked a little more. Uh, yeah. Normal. No. <laughs> <laughs> a little. 
just a Fine's bit. Fine's been a little bit wild. It is a smaller map, so teams definitely wanting to get ahead of things. Yay, making use of whatever he has to pick up the alt orb. Just whatever little wins that we can pick up. Zest able to retrieve a weapon now. And a thrash to deal with Holy potentially, smoke. even if that you're able to get this plant down. Left. Yeah, you do have an orbital strike. Oh, I'm worried about time. Y yeah. I mean, I think the, yep, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that Mosh is in a good spot to stop it. So now you got to get a player there, get it down. Zest, going to be Johnny on the spot to make the That's go the of thing. it. Yeah. You got Mosh, you got Orbital Strike, you got Incendiary, the Molly from Scary, and you know he has his lineups. So Talon wanting to get ahead of it. They're pushing up front. Surf with a heads up duel, able to take down first, onto the next. Zest with that rifle is gone now. And Jitboy just sticks to the fuse, actually. Able to make it all the way. Scary wasn't in position to pull any of these off and just wanting to save the utility for a further round. Retla goes further in just to rob some guns away even more. But regardless, a, pick, a pickup for talent. Yeah, it, it's pretty easy when you've got good mosh pit placements to make sure that the plant isn't comfortable and that you're able to get ahead of what you're talking about. Those post plant setups that likely Bleed is thinking about in that scenario. No real hope to even find a good opportunity for an orbital strike. You don't want to commit it if the route's already not in your favor in terms of numbers advantage. Definitely would prefer okay. to save it. Operator for governor, though. That's right. Wow, peeking down B-Long. Does not want to point. give Bleed any lakes in this race. No, absolutely not. And now you've really got to suspect that they're going to be somewhere pretty quickly they're gonna figure it out they're over on a well ban ate a lot of that flash but it's okay no one was there to punish it so you know we didn't see that yeah no harm no foul none of us saw it um get it because it's a bird a foul oh wow <laughs> good Bang. job favorite yeah thing. that was a good one dang <laughs> and i can hear achilles groaning from the other <laughs> <laughs> all right high tide was sent out jit boys unfortunately off timing gretla finds the opening pick Surf comes Surf. back in for a bit of trade. Oh, oh, they're trying to run over. There was that flashlight coming out from uh, Darian, but just a little bit off timing. Now Zest with a bit of positioning, able to catch down on Surf. Re-peaks and catches Cruz. As a thrash. One on one. Governor only has an op. Oh no, turns away. There's the thrash out now. Oh, but oh my leaves God. him open. Governor's going in for the knife. Oh, swaps over the shorty. Zest realizes it a little bit too late. Like you could stop me. And just punched and punctured through. And what they can, uh, but at flank. the same time, I mean, you've got these ultimates on the side of Talon. Jit Boys has been doing such oh, a good oh, job scary. at timing and summoning. Scary. Of scary, wake up. Scary. I think he's heard it, but, you know, right not quite a. in a prime position to peek out, so he wants his teammate to go in for it first. Unfortunately, that doesn't quite work out against Talon, who are doing such a darn good job right now. Rolling Thunder was committed but to no effect. The rest of them assaulting all the way from the back of A short as well as Heaven on A. They've captured truck, they've captured lamps. Bleed still stuck inside. Not quite able to get any spike plans, not quite able to fight back. Ye with nothing but a judge. Shot through, sniped down by Governor Cruz with a simple shot to the head. And that's going to be Talon Esports soaring and sending us into a third map. Yeah, looking phenomenal here. A nice bounce back. Both teams taking their map picks away from each other. And, it, you know, I, I think I can see the ideas 